Hello, I'm Greg Harrison with USDA Market News Service here in St. Joe, Missouri with your National Feeder Cattle Summary this week. Uh, looking at the calf market this week, it's compared to a light test last week due to Thanksgiving, but there were several auctions around the country that uh, did have hold some special auctions and uh, looking at comparisons uh, last week uh, on the calves, early part of the week a lot of calves are selling steady to five lower and that turned mostly five to ten lower as the week went on. Heifers felt the full brunt of the losses, selling mostly 12 to 15 lower in, in many uh, auctions throughout the auction area. Yearlings this week were again on a light test, steady to five lower. Uh, auctions this week were uh, following Thanksgiving, uh, held many, uh, uh, had many auctions selling two weeks worth of cattle this week, as there were many attractive offerings this week of calves and yearlings uh, where they had yearlings and uh, specials throughout the Southern Plains and Northern Plains and there was a really a good uh, offering of good top quality calves this week. And each week we're seeing more and more calves that are long time weaned, 30, 45 days plus. Uh, good demand noted uh, this week in several auctions uh, uh, throughout the Northern Plains and Southern Plains. In Bassett, Nebraska on Wednesday, they sold uh, over 4,400 head of feeder cattle with many reputation sand hill calves uh, selling on offer. Sold over 450 head of 600, 650 pound steer calves that averaged 612 pounds and they sold with a weighted average price of 203.39. Sold 265 head of 900, 950 pound yearling steers that averaged 931 pounds and they sold with a weighted average price of near 170 at 169.98. And here in St. Joe, Missouri on Wednesday at their auction sold right at 3,000 head of a lot of yearlings on offer uh, on Wednesday. Had a string of 95 fancy black uh, steers, uh, yearling steers uh, weighing 827 pounds, sold with good weighing conditions at 189.60. Another potload of black steers weighing 765 pounds at 179.50. So a lot of good top quality uh, yearlings uh, with good weighing conditions uh, still sell with a very good demand. Uh, this week we see had another week of, of uh, extreme volatility in the live cattle and feeder cattle futures market. Uh, cattle futures came back uh, after Thanksgiving really with a bad hangover, We're seeing sharp losses on Monday and those sharp losses continued into Tuesday and uh, that them sharp losses on Tuesday lasted until well about noon then they had a 360 degree turnaround and then saw uh, live and feeder cattle futures uh, end up the day with triple digit gains which left everybody pretty much dazed and confused and then on Wednesday well volatility came back or with reckless abandon and the live cattle futures traded limit uh, saw limit losses and feeder cattle futures uh, traded with sharp three dollar plus losses uh, Still remains out there many uh, bearish concerns. Uh, feedlots are uh, still seeing steep losses on fed cattle, along with heavy front end supplies, uh, weak export sales, uh, a high dollar that uh, hampers sales there. But on Thursday, we did see the US dollar index have a sharp loss, which uh, could be uh, a gain for especially grain and uh, meat protein. Um, the market uh, uh, just continues, like say, in this bearish. Uh, way and uh, just seem right now there's really no way to feed uh, your way out of it as a cure for high prices seem to be high prices. Looking at the box beef values this week have been mixed uh, hoping consumers uh, tire soon of turkey sandwiches anyway. Hopefully we'll see some improvement in retail sales. We've seen some slight gains in choice box beef this this week. Uh, on Thursday it closed up 41 cents at 204.49 and hopefully we can see retailers start featuring more beef and uh, see an improvement in some values there. Looking this week at uh, some national National weighted averages, regional weighted averages in the north central region, six seven hundred pound steers, averaging uh, up about two dollars at one eighty eight seventy three. Seven to eight hundred pound steers down about two dollars at one seventy seventy seven. Eight to nine hundred pound steers were lightly tested, but had a lower undertone on the light test. And looking at the south central region, five to six hundred pound steers about five dollars lower at one eighty six twenty nine. Six seven hundred pounds a dollar lower at one seventy three twenty three. Seven to eight hundred pounds down about eight dollars at 166.85 and eight to nine hundred pound steers down about three dollars at 167.75 in the southeast regions steers weighing four to five steer calves weighing four to five hundred pounds down about four dollars at 183.23 and five to six hundred pounds also down about four dollars at 168.50 that's your markets for this week thanks for listening be back with you next week